happy people i'm back with another video and today i'm bringing you all a nail tutorial i want to show you all how i achieve this look um in particular the um the solid colored nails um for anyone that's out there wanting to know how to do a dip powder application using gel polish um i want to show you all how to do that using this nail in particular i'm going to recreate that nail here um and so i just want to show you all how quick simple and easy it is um, these are the things you'll need. Um, you're going to need uh, gel polish for sure. I have base coat, top coat. You're going to need your dip powder color of choice. I'm using this GH dip powder um, and it is in the color Blue Yond. Um, you'll also need a, a clear dipping powder. You can use any acrylic powder really. Um, this isn't necessary, but I want to show you all how to clear encapsulate. That's something that's nice if you want to add thickness to your nail or if you want to protect any type of designs that you may do. Like, so I did this design and I definitely wanted to cure encapsulate that. Um, you'll also need a nail brush. You'll need a, a cotton round. You'll need a cuticle pusher, wooden stick, and then just some alcohol. And then the last, but definitely not least, most important thing is you'll need a LED lamp. Um, so, you know, any LED lamp is fine. This is the one that I'm using. And so, yeah, I'm going to show you all really quick. I want to make this a, a quick tutorial. So hopefully this video will only be five minutes, but I want to show you how quick it really is to do. Um, so the first thing you'll want to do is obviously nail prep is key. Super important. Um, I've already uh, prepped my nails. I have uh, shaped, filed, buffed the surface, pushed back my cuticles and everything. So this nail is all ready to go. Simply what I'm going to do is spray some alcohol on it. And I'm just going to wipe it clean. That's going to get rid of any extra oils and anything like that. And will allow for everything to adhere properly. Next, what you want to do is you'll want to take your gel base coat. You want to apply a super thin layer, making sure not to touch the cuticles or the side walls. So I'm going to do that with you all here on camera. So I like to place it down in the middle and then drag the brush back towards my cuticle. That helps ensure I get a clean cuticle line every time and that I don't flood anything. So there we go. Looks like I got too much gel on there. If you ever have too much gel, just wipe off the excess and then kind of smooth out the surface. This base coat layer is a little bit thicker than I want it to be. So I'm kind of just removing color as I go along here. Boom. Okay. So you have your thin layer base coat here. What I like to do is I like to go through and check side walls and such. Let's see if it'll focus here. There we go. I like to go through, check my side walls, make sure no gel has gotten on there. Do this side, make sure no gel has gotten on there. I did get a little bit of gel on my hand, simply just going to wipe that away. The thing about the gel is um, you have plenty of time to work with it and you want to do any type of cleaning up and fixing before you actually cure it. So that's what I'm doing there. You can see I got a clean cuticle line there. So I actually don't need to go around my cuticle at all. I'm gonna cure this 60 seconds. Next, you wanna go ahead and prepare your powder. Um, I've actually already stirred this powder, so it's already prepped and ready to go, but you'll wanna give it a quick stir just to make sure it's nice and fluffy. Um, I did, like I said, film this uh, previous tutorial just recently, so um, my cupcake liner is used, but, oh, I forgot to mention, you also need a cupcake liner. Um, but with this cupcake liner, you'll just pour over so first you want to do another thin layer of base coat okay again making sure not to touch or flood the cuticles and you want to just kind of follow what you did previously because once you get that first layer of base coat on everything else is kind of smooth sailing make sure not to touch the side walls make it a nice clean even layer that's nice and pretty here Okay, all right, I'm going to just flip it over just to see if I can get it to self-level. And then I'm going to go ahead and pour this powder over. So I'm going to just pour, pour, pour. I want to make sure you get the sides. 
get by the cuticle sides and just keep pouring until you feel like everything's been fully covered. Tap off the excess. I'll pour one more time sometimes just to make sure it's fully covered evenly. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. That's what it's looking like before I put it in. I'm going to cure for 60 seconds. Now, another thing um, is when you're doing all five of your fingers, if you want, what you can do is, is after you pour over, you can flash cure it for 10 seconds. And actually, what I learned is when you flash cure it for 10 seconds, the gel is still soft enough for you to be able to kind of clean up if you miss something around the cuticle area or if you got something on your skin. That still allows you a little bit of time to kind of still clean up, but it um, allows for the, the powder and the gel to not move around as much. And so you can flash cure for 10 seconds and then go and do the rest of your nails. And then you can do a full 60 second cure after you have all your nails coated. And I found that that is what allows this application to be a lot quicker, but also give you... Uh, more control so definitely try that out if you all are doing this method at home this is cured for 60 seconds and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my manicure brush I'm gonna tap it it feels hard I'm gonna take my manicure brush and just brush off the excess like so you see that the gel is nicely cured and you have a nice even coat here it mine might look a little bit splotchy, but when you go in with the next coat, it'll fix all that up. As you can see, nothing's touching my skin. I still, well, I got a little bit here, but that easily peels off. But side walls are good. Cuticle line is good. I'm going to go in with my next layer. Again, you just want to pour over and cure for 60 seconds. Is what the second layer of powder is looking like after it's cured it's hard to the touch so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the excess powder as you all can see this is looking really nice really beautiful really smooth look at this absolutely gorge love this color okay so I'm gonna go in with the next my next layer and then I'm gonna actually cure encapsulate this nail um, again, don't really need to cure encapsulate, um, but I'm just going to do it just to give it some extra thickness because I did cure encapsulate these nails. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a go. Again, you want to apply another layer of base. you'll pour over with clear so I have another cupcake liner here and I have my clear powder and you just want to pour over like so
tap off any excess. Any wet spots that you see, you can kind of go back over and cover it. Every powder is a little bit different too. So since I'm using like a different brand, you know, you just gotta use different techniques. So once that's covered, cure it for 60 seconds. That's cured for 60 seconds. And you'll just wanna wipe off the excess powder. Just like so. Yeah, that looks good. Actually, it's feeling a little grainy. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 60 more seconds. Okay, so that feels a lot better. So that's been cured for 60 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my, another layer of base coat, and then I'll apply a top coat, and then I'll be all done. You can choose to file at this point, but it's smooth enough that you really don't even need to. This is what it looks like after I applied the base coat over the, the clear coat, the clear acrylic. And then last thing left to do is just apply your top coat. So I'm gonna go in with this top coat and we'll be all done. So I kind of do two layers of top coat um, depending on how smooth the nail is after the first layer. Sometimes one layer is good enough, but a lot of times I'll do two just to make sure it's really smooth. And it's really nice to do that layer base right before this gel just to make sure that this top coat has something really nice to adhere to. But yeah, so you want to do a nice layer of top coat here. I want to just flip it over so that it kind of self levels. So I'm going to flip it over for maybe like 10 seconds, see if it is self level here. And then I'm going to cure it for 60 seconds. This is what it looks like with just one layer of top coat. Look at the shine, you guys. Absolutely gorge, like loving it. So it's not looking as even as I would like it to. So I am going to go in with that second layer just to see if I can get a nice smooth surface. Actually, I think the glare from the light is making it look uneven. But I'm going to still do a second coat because I like how it looks with two coats of top gel. So one more layer here. Oh yeah, look how smooth that's going on. So beautiful. This is really pretty. And I just love how you can just kind of move this gel around however you want. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure on this one I cap the free edge. That last coat here, I'm going to cap the free edge. I'm going to turn it upside down one more time to give me the evenness that I want. Okay, turn it upside down for 10 more seconds. Check one more time that it's looking how you want it to look. And then you cure. Look at this beautiful end result. I mean, it's just not gorgeous. So I got a little bit on my hand. Um, that's really easy to clean up. This, As you can see, this stuff kind of flakes right off. Oops. Yeah, so I got a little bit on my skin here, but that's fine. It's really easy. It just kind of flakes right off. I use a tool like this and it just kind of pops right off the skin. So that's not anything to be super concerned about. As long as your cuticles and such isn't flooded, these little mishaps right here, that stuff comes right off. So I'm not even too concerned about that. Um, as you can see, it just kind of will flake right off your skin there. So yeah, and especially after you wash your hands a few times, like that stuff comes right off. So I'm not too worried about that. I know that it comes off very easily, but um, can we get a moment for this manicure? Look at that. Clear lines on the side, not touching the cuticle at all. I mean, this is what good manicures are made of. This right here is the key to making a manicure last like two weeks. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Last thing left for me to do is just apply some cuticle oil. I just have this cheapy cuticle oil that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, I'm gonna go through 
all my cuticles and I have a complete manicure you guys this is the finished product is this not gorgeous so this is a nail I did here for this tutorial um, but yeah these are how my nails turned out absolutely love this like these are like some cool like aqua looking nails um i am going to come back and update since i did this pour over method i want to see how long these nails last last time i did this it only lasted like a week but i was also my first time and, and i had a lot of air bubbles and clumping and i was dipping and there was a lot of pooling and things like that so i've done a nice clean manicure here I want to update you guys and let you know how long this lasts but if you all want to do this dip method i highly recommend it i do think it's a lot quicker than using the dip powder system and i just love how my nails turned out like what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below i'm absolutely loving this look so yeah i hope you all enjoyed this video i am going to be bringing you all more nail tutorials in the future um just wanted to kind of switch some things up on my channel and bring you more content i really enjoy watching nail videos so i thought you know why not start making some of my own but look how pretty love this set okay all right well i hope you all enjoyed this tutorial um, let me know if you all have any suggestions comments on how i can improve on making these videos better for you all because um they're actually really hard to film so yeah let me know i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday and yeah leave me some love down in the comments down below and i will see you all in my next video hope you have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye these nails have been on almost three weeks now and you can see all of the growth that's happened here. Um, these nails have lasted quite nicely. And to be honest with you, if I wanted to, I do feel like I could actually get um, another two weeks out of this if I wanted to. Um, so I definitely think that the gel method using dip powder definitely does work. I feel like I could easily get a month out of this set. However, um, the new growth is bothering me and I am ready for a new set. Um, so the only, so I actually don't have any lifting at all. Nothing near the cuticle line and then nothing at the tips except actually okay this just happened so i have a, a small chip here but i really think this literally just happened right before i got on camera because an hour ago that wasn't there um and then the rest of the nails are all holding up well um the only thing i noticed was on this thumbnail in particular it looks like the nail is kind of separating from the dip powder set and i really think that's because i did not cap this end I can't remember if I did it or not in my video, but that's the biggest reason I could think of as to why that didn't really um, stay put. But the, the rest of the nail is on there, just the ends of it fell off, and it looks like that happened over here too. Um, and I think because of how I shaped my nails, it was a little bit hard to cap like the very like edge right here um, without getting gel on my skin. So I think that's what happened, but that did not happen to any of the other nails.